All right, y'all, we got um New York pizza versus Italian pizza. Let me get in, Nick. Territory. An endless battle waged to be ended. Thick ass pieces of cheese on that Italian pizza, though. What the fuck? So today it is Italian versus American, aka New York pizza. This is gonna piss people off from God dang two different freaking continents. What are you gonna do about that? I know there's a lot of different American pizzas and there's a lot of different Italian pizzas, all right? We picked two of my personal favorites, New York and Neapolitan. Bing, bing, bing. They're both great pizzas. So for the record, before we even do this, let's have it be a clean fight. Let's have it be a respectful fight. And let's understand that pizza is delicious in many forms. And I know that some people feel that the New York pizza is not a real pizza. So let's define it today. So with all that being said, let's make this, shall we? So it's time. We've got two very different doughs, Mr. Italiano, which is just flour, water, salt, yeast. And the American version, containing not only sugar, but also being fermented completely different with significantly more yeast in a different type. I'm gonna give you the book. I ain't never had no uh, Italian pizza before. I think I had some one time, but that was, it was downtown, but I don't know if they, that's like considered an Italian place though. Oh, no. First, let's start off with the American pie. In a container, uh, containing 617 grams of water, add 14 grams of instant yeast, and 25 grams of granulated sugar. An Italian pizza dough skin. Whisk that together and set to the side. Separately, get a large bowl filled with 950 grams of all-purpose flour. Another Italian sin. Now, mix in 19 grams of fine sea salt by hand till combined for your sugi. Bro, I swear, like, I never taste sugar in any of the things that I eat, bruh. Like, what the fuck? He over here talking about some put sugar. Like, every time I watch his videos, I ain't gonna lie, I be cooking. I be cooking just like D-Nick, you feel me? But, bro, every time I watch his videos, it's like he use sugar in everything, bro. And I swear, I don't think any of these restaurants use sugar, bro. Because, what the fuck? I don't, they don't even sound right. Yeasties into your flour mixture, mix it by hand until you get a rough dough, and then knead on a clean work surface until it starts to easily pull away from said work surface and you have a relatively smooth dough. Grease a bowl, pop that into that grease bowl, let that rise for one and a half to two hours at room temp or until two and a half times its original size, punch it down, divide it into 300 gram pieces, lightly form into balls, pop that into a pizza proofing box, top of the lid, and proof for three to four hours at room temp. That's your god dang American do. Now, moving on to, I know, I know, settle down Italians we love ya mwah, mwah. anyway get yourself 512 grams of water whisk in three to four grams of instant yeast until dissolved much less than before separately in a large bowl filled with 800 grams of double o tipo flour not all purpose keep it italiano to that you'll add 16 grams of fine sea salt mix it by hand double o tito add your yeasty juice and mix by hand until you get a rough dough knead that for five to seven minutes or until you get a beautifully smooth and supple dough now lightly coat the bottom of your bowl with super duper virgin olive oil form your dough into a lightly taut ball, plop into your big old bowl, cover tightly with plastic wrap, and place in the fridge for 24 hours. Now, once that's done, punch it down, form these into more dainty 250 gram pieces, gently roll those into light balls, pop into a floured pizza proofing box, cover with the lid, and proof for three to four hours at room temp. Now, while those are going, we'll make our American pizza sauce, which ironically is the most involved. In a medium sauce pot, add one tablespoon or 14 grams of unsalted butter, one tablespoon or nine grams of extra virgin olive oil, let that heat, and once the butter is melted and bubbling, add in six cloves of rough chopped garlic, saute just until fragrant, then add two teaspoons or four grams of red pepper flakes. I like it a little spicy, all right? Now let that cook stirring occasionally until the garlic is golden brown toasted. Then immediately add in a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes in a splash of water. Then to that, you'll add two teaspoons or two grams of dried oregano, one and a half tablespoons or 21 grams of Italians plug your ears, granulated sugar, salt and pepper to taste, and a light glug of olive oil. Bring that up to a boil on medium high, immediately reduce the heat to low, and simmer for 12 minutes, stirring occasionally until reduced and viscous like this beauty right here. Season that with salt until it's to your like. Bro, one day I'm gonna go back on this dude's channel like to see like, bro, did this nigga even go to culinary school or is he just learning this from cookbooks and shit? Cause I swear, I think I scrolled back on it once and he been doing YouTube for like what, eight years or some shit like that? Let that cool, and that's your American pie sauce. Acumen. Next up, the Italiano. This one's significantly easier and simpler. So get yourself a 20 ounce can of whole peeled Italian San Marzano tomatoes, drain the liquid out of those, and then gently squeeze each tomato to remove their excess water. In a food processor, place just those whole tomatoes along with three to four cloves of peeled garlic, fresh ground black pepper, and salt to taste, and two tablespoons or 18 grams of your best olive oil. Blend that on high until as smooth as possible, and that's it. Now let's finish these bad boys. The Italian one goes into a true 750 
150 degree pizza oven and the American one into a hot home oven. So for the American pie, you'll need to preheat a baking steel or pizza stone in the middle of your oven around 500 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 30 to 45 minutes before starting. Once done, flour a pizza peel generously, grab one dough piece, plop it down onto your work surface, flour your dough generously, then start by punching your dough down in the center, working your way out to create a border about a quarter of an inch wide. Then pick the dough up, drip it over your closed fist, and rotate the dough around, gently stretching as you go until you get a 13 to 14 inch pie. Layer on a couple tablespoons of your sauce, starting in the center, spreading in little circles working your way to the pizza. edge until the pie is evenly, beautifully coated like this. Separately, we have a cheese mixture of two cups low moisture mozzarella, two cups Monterey Jack, and half a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano. And I don't care if this is the American or Italian version, it's fresh grated. Now that's tossed together beautifully and sprinkled over your pizza to your heart's desire. Now load that into your oven onto your baking steel, close and let it bake for five to seven minutes or until the edges get a nice deep golden brown and the cheese is bubbly melted. Pull that out and knock it lie this thing looks pretty god dang good now bro why you ain't put no pepperonis or anything on it bro like some sausage or something Hold your horses. It's Italian time. Bacon. Shaping and saucing is the exact same here. Except this time you'll stretch this to no more than a 10 to 12 inch pie. Spread on your sauce and then add nice little chunks of fresh buffalo mozzarella. Big chunk here, small chunk there. Have fun with it. A couple of torn leaves of fresh basil. Wait a minute, Josh. You can't cook basil in a pizza that'll kill the flavor. Listen, sweetheart. If this is done traditionally and cooked quickly enough, then yes, it will lose a little flavor, but it will also lightly perfume the pizza with that basil scent. Now, optionally, hit that with a glug of extra virgin olive oil. Load that into a Damn. 750 degree pizza. Pizza oven, cook for 30 seconds, turn it halfway, and cook for another 20 to 35 seconds. Take it out, and that is a god dang gorgeous pie. Now to finish, we're gonna add some fresh torn basil leaves to bolster 20 seconds to make that pizza? Perfumed pizza. Now, side by side, sure, they're from two different parts of the world, but despite the differences, maybe they can both see the beauty in each other. But is there a winner? Let's find out. Pizza court is in session. <laughs> Mamma mia. We have two different pizzas. They both look extraordinarily different. Let's begin with the smell. Oh, muzzle This one kind of loses the smell test. You've got the garlic, the fresh tomato sauce. You smell the char, the smoke. On this is mostly just cheese I'm picking up. Not a bad thing, but I prefer this one. It's good. It's exactly what you think a New York pizza is going to taste like roughly, right? Caramelized cheese. I ain't never had no New York pizza. You know what I'm sticking with? I'm sticking with the damn Italians, bro. So Italians, bro, y'all win, bro. Cause this is a basic ass cheese pizza. The sauce is a little spicy, a little sweet. I like it. I love it. This is gonna be a bite. I'm just gonna be straight up. This to me is better. Period. End of story. Sorry, New Yorkers. I already. Whoa, whoa. Stop. I know you're freaking out. Well, he didn't make it. Hey, yo, fuck New Yorker, man. Properly. Look, been all over New York and had plenty of pizzas. Been all over Italy and. Had I ain't gonna lie, New York's pizza do look bust pizza, though. So I'm using all of my professional knowledge to tell you I like this one more. Personal preference because this has more depth of flavor. There's more layers to it. I like that it's not so just heavy and laden. It's balanced. Given either of these choices, I'm not gonna be upset because they're both equally delicious in their own way. But we'll bring in some other representatives. Let the line begin. I love New York. I'm a big fan. My father is from New York, okay? So I'm sorry. The Italian one's the winner. They technically are the OGs, so they deserve it. But New York, we still have love. We still have heart for you. And you have your place in this world. You wanna know what else has a place in this world? B-roll. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Italy's pizza, it look bust as fuck, bro. But New York, that shit also look bust. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Just cause Italy's pizza look just just a tad bit better, I'ma go with that, bro. No kizzy, no kizzy, no cap. Little bit get slapped. I'ma hit you in your back.